DJ with YouTube. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm gonna show you how. Now in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to DJ with YouTube, as in using YouTube as your music source. Uh, this isn't a video about how to make DJ videos and put them on YouTube. Let me know in the comments and I'll make another video like that. But for this one, it's going to be like my video on how to DJ on Spotify, but this one's how to DJ on YouTube. So let's get started. Now, if you want to DJ using YouTube as the music source, you're going to have to be a little creative. Just like if you want to DJ with Spotify now, there's loopholes and ways around it because there is no section, there is no way to just log into YouTube through the DJ Pro app and there's no integration with YouTube into any other DJ softwares at the moment. Maybe in the future they might, but as of now, you can't load it straight from the DJ software. So there's a couple of ways to still use the service to DJ even though you can't access it through the actual app. Now, Number one would be for playlists. Just like on Spotify, YouTube has really great playlists made by regular people and by professionals that you could copy and then move into your DJ software's library. So you could go from YouTube into your own collections of libraries very simply. So let's say you guys are using Tidal. This is the streaming service that I currently use with DJ Pro. And then we go go to title and just search in YouTube to title playlist importer. And then right on the title official website, it'll bring you down here. And now you could take playlist from any of these services and transfer them into title. And then once they are in title, you can now use them to make playlist in DJ Pro right from the app. So to do this, you're going to go to Start Playlist Import. You're going to click your service. You could do U regular YouTube or you can do YouTube Music. And then now you're just going to copy and paste the playlist from YouTube's the actual URL to the playlist. And then you can import it into, and then you'll see it in the title app. And then from there, if you're logged in the title with DJ Pro, you will be able to see the playlist right here. So I did, I think it was the Sunday Funday playlist. This was a playlist that somebody made on YouTube. I transferred it in the title and now I have this whole playlist. And if I wanted to, you could go over here. Let's say I wanted to say so, add the playlist. And now I could add it to my pop EDM. And then it is right there. So. That is one way that if you have a lot of playlists or you discovered all this great music on YouTube and you've always wanted to DJ with that music from YouTube, you could easily just transfer it onto a playlist. It takes a, a couple extra minutes, but you get access to all the playlists that are on YouTube. So definitely use that service to transfer the playlist and you could use any playlist from YouTube to DJ with great way to use YouTube for DJing is for music discovery. I say this in a lot of my videos because I believe it's the most important part of DJing and that is music discovery. As a DJ, you're supposed to know more more music, know about more music than any than the average person. That's what puts you in a position to be the DJ playing music for people. So, in order to stay on top of it and be a good DJ, you have to discover new songs every single day. So make it part of your daily routine, whether you're at the gym and you're listening to your headphones or you're driving to work. Those are perfect times where you could be listening and discovering new music. So this is a great way to use YouTube because it's free. You could go over here to YouTube, type in top pop songs for 2022. And then there's all of these playlists that, look, this one, top 40 songs of 2020, 21 best English songs, and it had 2.1 million views. So 2 million people watched this 
and these are the pop most popular songs. You could also click one of these. You could start playing one of these songs, and then when it's playing, have it set to keep playing songs after, and it'll just keep cycling through this playlist. And if you like this song, if it's a song you want to use when you DJ, just press like. And then you press like, and then you go back over to your libraries, and then you go to liked videos, and it's right there. And then you could use these videos, and then go into Tidal over here. Let's see. Let's see what we found. We got The Joker and the Queen by Ed Sheeran. We go over here, use the streaming service that we're using, type in Ed. Ed Sheeran. I think I spelled it wrong. There we go. We got Ed Sheeran, and then we click on the artist, and we want to get the one, the Joker. All right, Ed Sheeran. The Joker and the Queen, Ed Sheeran. So right there. And we're going to add it to playlist and then new. So then we have it on our new playlist. So now we took our, when we were on our way to work, while we were at the gym, when we were just chilling at home, listening to music, we were being productive and we said, oh, I like that song. And then you like it. And then when you get home and you're just browsing through your phone or browsing through your iPad, you could go, oh. These are the songs I liked. Let me see if they're on title. And then if they're on title, organize them into your own playlist. So you took a song that you found on YouTube for free, and then now you can play it while you DJ for free, basically, if you have one of those streaming services. So make sure you discover music every day and use YouTube to discover music because it's free, it's easy, and if millions of other people are watching these videos of songs and music videos, then that means that if you play it for a crowd, they're probably going to like it. Get to DJ with YouTube or any other service that is not integrated with the DJ software that you're using is to use an auxiliary port in either your your controller could have a port like this, or if you're using an external mixer with either your iPad or your controller hooked up to a mixer and then hooked up to the speakers, what you could do is you could have a cable like this and you could plug this end into the auxiliary part of your controller or mixer and then you could plug this part into your phone or whatever other device you want to use for YouTube. And then you could be playing a song through DJ Pro, either a song you have on your iPad or if you're using a streaming service, and then you could have a song from YouTube. Let's say it's not on any streaming services and it's only on YouTube. You could have that song playing on YouTube through the external mixer using one of these cables, and then you could be having one song playing on DJ Pro and be actually DJing with the other song that's on YouTube, even if it's not on the actual DJ software. This takes a little more skill because obviously you're not gonna be able to use the sync button and you're not gonna be able to see the waveforms, but if you're an advanced DJ and you could do different types of mixes that I taught you guys, like doing the, the spin, the backspin or doing a echo out or other techniques, you could, be playing song from DJ Pro right through the app, and then you could do a nice echo, and then boom, take your phone or whatever device, press play on that song on YouTube. And then when that song on YouTube is gonna end, what you could do is you could maybe do one of the samples, maybe do an air horn, or just go, and then go, press go, play go, go, on DJ. The song that's on DJ Pro, and then keep on going with more songs on DJ Pro, and then if you wanna do more songs from YouTube, you just play it, play it on your phone. So don't be afraid to think out of the box. As a DJ, that's what we that's what we do. We think out of the box. We do things that other people might not have thought about doing, and we find a way to break the rules. So if you like this type of video, and if you want to learn how to make videos of yourself DJing and put them on YouTube, 
and start a YouTube channel, let me know in the comments. I could help you with that. And also subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends because all the support really means a lot to me. Thank you.